seen that a number of people have now responded to the seven questions in seven minutes bonsai challenge, including Tony of Tony's Bonsai, Nigel Saunders, Patricia O'Connor, Bonsai Cornwall, Ryan Horton of Horton's Bonsai, and obviously myself. If you haven't tried the challenge yet and you're a bonsai content creator, then take a look and consider doing the challenge. Uh, I've yet to see a bonsai tree as terrible as the terrible tanuki on my video. So come on, people, you need to up your game. Good morning and welcome to the bonsai garden. I recently did a video where I answered seven questions in seven minutes and the tree in the intro sequence was one of the answers to that video, my worst bonsai. And I thought it only fair that I give that video its own sort of beauty treatment and uh, a nice little photo shoot to show off its um, qualities. And we'll never ever mention that tree ever again now. Anyway, it's currently five o'clock in the morning in the UK. Now, I've always been an early riser. And find that I get a lot of things done by getting up so early in the morning whilst everybody's asleep and the world's so quiet. It's a good way of boosting your productivity. I've just recently received this parcel and just to give you a clue as to what's in there, my favourite bonsai potter, Tom Butterworth, has just recently put another batch of beautiful pots on eBay. And um, particularly if you're in the UK, it's worth having a look. There's really some fantastic pots on there. They have a very distinctive wabi-sabi style to them. And no doubt they will become future classics. Uh, I bid on the small pot and it's arrived. So we're going to get into this and have a look, see what we've got. Now, obviously I'm seeing this for the first time. So all reaction is genuine. Now, as usual, this parcel is well packaged. And I've bought a number of pots from Tom Butterworth before. I'll put a video in the um, description below and a link just at the top here. So you can take a look and see some of his other pots, which I showcased earlier this year. And you can see we've got lots of... Uh, these foam noodles packing the pot, just keeping it safe. And this time it was quite a small pot. I would quite happily buy lots more pots from Tom, um, but really it's a case now of finding the trees put into them so it's more a case now of buying the pots with trees in mind and again you can see it's very well wrapped up in bubble wrap and here we go and it's got a fantastic finish to it with this sort of decayed edge And that's a sort of mottled grey blue with this stippled effect on it. It's Tom's stamp underneath. And I'll have to find a little show in tree to put in there. It's another lovely, lovely little pot from Tom. I'm really pleased with that. And I think it was £16 on eBay and postage. So let me have your thoughts on that. If you're in the UK, um, it's worth having a look on eBay.
Tom's name on eBay is Sass6160. So please have a look and support him in what he does. Thanks for joining and I'll catch you in the next one.